Yeah, tell me which article did guns make you safe? Because the last time I heard that, uh, there are a lot of school shootings and mass shootings everywhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm, guess I was wrong. I thought Caitlyn was a Christian, because she should know that, but, uh, I guess not. Caitlin, this is not your campus. This is their campus. The only way they can stop is that you leave their place now. Now see, this is something I don't prove. You just said something that is very, very, very racist. I mean, come on, Caitlin. How stupid are you? You just said that you are a woman of color when you're not even African American. I mean, come on. You, this proves that you are the most racist person on earth. Seriously, you can't do that.
Ladies and gentlemen, now watch this. A cop just showed up. Do you know what he's going to do? Well, I'll tell you what he's going to do in a uh, form of a uh, example of why Caitlyn Bennett should not have done that in the first place. I don't have any place to take you. You're blocking traffic. You gotta move. The crowd is you. And then you said, I do try to move, but you didn't. You never moved away. You never actually leave. Which is why the crowd is following you. You, Caitlin Bennett, are the most dumbest, racist, American on this planet. You know, Caitlin Bennett, this is a disgusting way to ask people for money. I mean, what you're doing is really begging for money. That shit has to stop. Patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. I'm coming back to this campus. I'm coming back, and it's going to be 10 times bigger. Get the fuck out. We don't support racism, and we also don't support you. We don't support hate on our campus. That woman is right. 
They don't support you because you are racist and you're hateful. You bring hate into the campus. They don't support hate. They support love. Only love. We support love! Fuck you! He's a racist piece of shit! Because we're better than this, and this is a public embarrassment to Ohio University. this for everyone who hates you so dearly. No. I want to mention, I asked the cop to take me somewhere to where this wouldn't happen to me and I wouldn't get hurt, and he said no. He said not to follow him, not to ask him for anything. He can't help me at all. He said that this is my fault, the crowd is my fault, and the crowd has everything to do with me, so I had to keep them safe. He's right, let me explain why it is your fault. It is because you did not have a warrant for to enter the campus. You did not call the city of wherever it is. And you did not call the state of Ohio that you were coming. And... If you weren't to notify the police earlier that you were coming, you would have said something earlier. But you didn't. You screwed this one up. And that's why you brought this on yourself. They are, but when you're here, they hate you. They hate you because you are who you are. You ask the most stupidest questions of all time, and more importantly, uh, you just said a racist shit. You just said that you ate, that you were a person of color and you're not. So, yeah, that speaks a lot of volumes about you, Caitlin. Now, this is the part where Caitlin and Joe, or the other guy, are going to embarrassingly defend themselves because they think that the left started this first. I mean, come on. It was a peaceful protest at Ohio 
university. It wasn't it wasn't that serious at all. It was just water and ice coffee. Not hot coffee, iced coffee. I mean, it's not that serious. You didn't get hurt at all. Don't be trying to defend yourself now. Why is that cop just letting this all happen? The cop is letting, he told me, Justin, he told me he could not help me. He has nowhere for me to go. He's what, these cops are watching this happen. There's another one. The cop is letting, he told me, Justin, he told me he could not help me. He has nowhere for me to go. He's what, these cops are watching this happen. There's another one. They're still throwing stuff. building to get me away from this or throwing stuff at me he said no i have nowhere for you to go and he walked away and i said am i supposed to follow you he goes no don't follow me i just i don't he saw what was happening and they let their their campuses run like this this is in ohio you would uh, think this place is in berkeley because we were physically assaulted it was a riot it was riot a yeah they rioted if you cause a riot that's not within yeah, the first amendment yeah, and and right. people can get arrested they should get arrested for that <laughs> These college students were protesting, and since you call the cops, they were short-sighted. Because, well, you bring a riot, as you said, in a 911 call. They couldn't bring so many cops because of you, Caitlin. You started this whole thing, and this is the punishment you get. Alright, it's your fault. So because we were being followed out of the university, we are getting our own police escort uh, to make sure we aren't being followed and to just make sure we're safe, I guess. So thank you to Ohio State Highway Patrol for uh, doing that. This just goes to show we were at the University of Akron three days ago and those students ended up changing their mind about me and they were very peaceful. They all wanted pictures with me. We come to the most liberal university in Ohio and that's how we're treated. Let that go to show what is going on. <laughs> Okay, what sucks is that they say, like, I'm a racist. I was there with Joel. Well, no, they separated me from you. Yeah. I didn't even know where you guys went. And then, like, I had a, a, the, the group of people that was around me were, like, really peaceful. I don't know why, like, the police just allowed them to just, like, act like an angry mob. And I feel like if they, they were rioting. They wouldn't even have backed off from the truck if we hadn't had the train horn. Because they were, like, just, like, pushing on the sides of the truck, like, not even letting us leave. That was like so, blue insane. campus. That's why. That was just insane. That was just so many liberals in one spot. That's never happened before. I will be back. Oh, I will be back. They think that they can bully me off of campus. That's not going to fucking happen. That shit pisses me off. And it should piss all of you off that watch this. People that have your opinions, your opinions, what you're watching right now, they would do the exact same thing to you on campus if they knew your opinions. Keep that in mind. That's what the liberals do. The only reason you don't get attacked is because they don't know your opinions, but they know mine. They know my opinions. They lie about my opinions. That's why they did this. And let it represent every single one of you watching, every single one of you that support me. They would do this exact same thing to you. Now look. Under any circumstances, I don't agree with people who want to kill Caitlyn Bent. But, when it comes to Caitlyn's rhetoric, racist, bigotry, 
stuff like this can happen to her. Because she kind of deserves it. I mean, come on. People know you on the internet for about two years now. Since you're trending. You're trending by wearing a white dress and you had a gun with you at that college that you graduated from. That says a lot about you, Caitlin. You clearly care about killing people more than uh, actually being safe from wackos who go to school shootings and mass shootings and kill many innocent lives. This is why people like that are inherently stupid because people like you, you're not to be trusted at all. And if you were to be trusted, then you probably shouldn't be saying, oh, I want guns forever because they help keep us safe. No, they don't. They kill people. They always kill people. And even if it's in the wrong, the wrong hands of that one human who is able to kill people, it's over the news these days. And I bet it's still happening too. Caitlin Bennett, go fuck yourself. And I hope you have a great life. Just not within our radius.